Okay, so this is the new Toshiba Thrive. And the box, actually, I just cut it open and then realized that I should probably do the recording. So that's the only thing that's actually been done so far. But this is the uh, 32 gigabyte um, unit. Open it up. It has this plastic screen on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Quick start guide, some accessories, oh, stickers. Uh, just some advertisement paperwork. Um, I guess giving us the tour of what to do when you get started. There must be more underneath because there's no power adapter yet. Oh, yeah. So on this side we have the AC power cord. And the USB cable. the actual power adapter. These two will go together for sure. And that's pretty much it in the box here. And then what we'll do is we'll go through a boot up process a little later as we unwrap this. Okay, so the screen cover on this drive has, uh, I guess, indicators of what things are. We have docking connector, stereo speaker, the AC port, headphone and mic, USB port, SD card slot on the top, USB ports, HDMI port. One of the big benefits of this is the HDMI. And on the top, we have our screen rotation lock, volume control, power. Back cover lock here at the top. Camera and other stereo speaker, so we'll go ahead and start unwrapping all of this stuff here. Alright, let me get this cover off here. Okay, so at this point, we had to plug in the power and we're going to start to boot up the uh, machine here. Now, the first boot up took almost 90 seconds, so what I had to do is speed up the film. So what you're seeing it is four times, um, four times speed sped up. And after about 90 seconds or so, then you get the welcome screen. So what I would recommend is making sure that you get... Um, your Wi-Fi, either your WP, uh, AWPK or the web key, uh, your security key will be handy to have now because uh, what it'll do is it'll search out for uh, wireless connections and you just pick your, your network that you are um, connected to, enter your password and it'll just connect you right up to the internet. You can even choose location services if you want, if you want it to know where you're at, and then also you set your date and time depending where you're at, making sure that's accurate. And then what you can do is then it's going to ask you to sign in with your Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail account, and even if you have another Android device that you have it also synced up with, it's kind of like the um, Apple Cloud. It, it really just does, uh, the iCloud, it just syncs up everything together. At this point, it's asking me if I want to go ahead and um, bring all the data over from my other device and it restores all the data so all my apps went over 
uh, it pretty much had everything that my other device had all set up on there. So that's what's pretty cool about this too. Um, that pretty much the whole device setup uh, and the unboxing of my new device. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy your Thrive.